Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make one of these seed bead bracelets. It kind of looks a bit like a star or a flower. So this is what it looks like close up. And this is a little sample I did when I was trying out what colours I like together. So to make one of these bracelets, you will need some size 11 seed beads. It's of course going to depend how many different colours you're doing. But for one of these little stars, you'll need three different colours in size 11 seed beads and one colour in size 15 seed beads. So they're the tiny ones in the centre. The yellow ones are size 11, the pink are size 11, and these dark grey silver ones are size 11 as well. So you'll need at least three different colours of size 11 seed beads and some size 15 as well. I'm going to be alternating between this colour and this colour, so I'm going to be doing purple, green, purple, green all the way along. So I've got my size 11 seed beads here and some silver size 15 as well. You also need your beading needle and thread. And it takes quite a lot of thread and um, you may have to even add a new piece of thread halfway through. And you'll also need your clasp, whatever kind of clasp you want for your bracelet. Okay, so before we start, I just wanted to mention that this design that I've come up with um, was kind of inspired by or like adapted from a tutorial I watched a long time ago um, on Beautiful Nights channel. So definitely check out that channel um, because she's got some great tutorials on there and this was sort of adapted from one of her older bracelet tutorials. So I've threaded my needle with quite a lot of thread, I may even have to add more. Um, and first thing you need to do is pick up 24 beads and the colour pattern is going to be, so these purple ones here are my outside beads and we'll call these dark grey ones here the corner beads. Not really corners, but you know what I mean. So picking up 24 beads, starting with a corner, followed by three of your outside colour, another corner, three of your outside, another corner, three of your outside, so on and so forth until you've got a total of 24 beads on here. So I've picked up my 24 beads and it should look like this, with your colours of course, and you should have started with one of your corner or point beads and you should have one, two, three, four, five, six of those and then one, two, three, four, five, six groups of three in between those. So go ahead and slide those down, all the way down your thread to the other end, leaving a few inches at the other end. Okay, and then you're going to sew through the first three beads on the needle, on the thread, so that you have this. Okay, now I'm coming out the middle bead here, of this little group of three, and I'm going to pick up one of my middle colour. So back to this, <laughs> this here, this opaque purple. Actually, I'll show you on the other one, it's easier. So this pink was my outer colour and this yellow is my inner colour. So that's what I'm referring to, the beads that you want to sit there in the middle, the yellow ones. So coming out of the middle bead in this group of three, you're going to go into the middle bead in this next group of three purple beads. So through this middle one right here. Pull that down and make 
make sure it sits in the middle, like that, in the middle of the circle. Okay, now picking up another one of those middle beads. You're now coming out the centre bead in this group of three, so moving on to the next group of three purple beads, you're going to go into the middle bead in that group as well. Making sure it sits in the middle and not on the outside again. Picking up another one of your centre colours and going into the middle bead in the next group of three. Doing the same again, picking up another one. Going into the next group of three and into the middle bead again. Like this. Picking up another one. Going into the next group of three and into the middle bead. Okay, picking up your last middle bead for this little section. So you're coming out of this middle bead here in this group of three. Now it's a bit distorted, but there's your next um, corner bead and then here's your next group of three. It's being pulled in by this bead here. But just treat it the same way. This is your next group of three and you're going to go through that middle bead as always through that one there and make sure that that bead sits inside and then pull it tight. It's not going to look like the right kind of shape at the minute. Okay, so now we're coming out of this middle bead here, you're going to move straight into that first centre colour that we added, which is this green one right here. Okay, so I'm coming out of one of those centre colours. Now you're going to pick up one of your size 15 beads and go into the next of those centre beads. Like that. And again, pick up another size 15. And I'm coming out of this green centre bead here. I'm going to go into the next green one. Picking up another size 15 and going into the next centre bead, centre colour. Picking up another size 15 and going into the next one. And you're going to do that all the way around till you get back to the start. Okay, so I'm just adding the last one. So I'm coming out of this green one, I'm going to go into the next green one, as always. Pull that nice and tight. Now you should have something a bit like this. Okay, so now what I like to do is move my thread into the next size 15 bead next to the one that I'm coming out of. And sew through only the size 15 beads in the circle. So skip the size 11s and just go through all of those size 15s that you just added. So just sew through all those size 15s all the way back around to the start. Okay, so I'm coming back out of that size 15 that I started from. Now your tail thread should be coming out over here. So my tail thread's coming out over here. So to carry on with the bracelet, you want to be working opposite your tail thread. So you want to be coming out of this silver bead or this corner bead right here. So I'm going to move my red I'm coming out the 15 I'm going to move through the next inner size 11 that green one and then up into these two size 11s on the outside edge and straight into that silver corner bead so now I'm working opposite myself like this So that's the first one done and you're going to do the same thing again but I'll just show you quickly how to do the next one, how to join it on so that you're prepared to do the whole bracelet. So when we first picked up the first loop we picked up 24 beads but this time we've already got 
one bead here that we're coming out of that we're going to add our next loop to so that's included in the next 24 so you only need to pick up 23 beads and you're coming out of one of these corner beads so you need to start by picking up three of your outer colour so I'm swapping now to the other colour so picking up three of my outer colour followed by one of the corner colour and then three of my outer colour one of my corner colour and you're going to carry on picking up until you've got 23 beads this time on your needle so go ahead and do that and then I'll show you what to do okay so I've picked up my 23 beads you should be finishing on one of your outer colour you shouldn't have don't pick up a 24th bead you should be finishing on your edging colour so you're coming out of this one here you're going to go back into the one that you're coming out of on the opposite side from where your thread's coming out so my thread's coming out the top so i'm going to go into the bottom of that bead pull that through now you've got this so now we need to move through the first two beads so that we're exiting out the middle bead of that first little group of three green beads like that I'm going to turn it over because I find it easier to work this way. <laughs> so I'm coming out of the middle bead in that little unit of three. So I'm going to pick up my first centre colour and going into the middle bead in the next group of three, just like we did on the first one. Okay, and it's sat on the outside. Make sure you flip it so it's on the inside. Picking up another one, going into the next centre bead in the next group of three. This part is exactly the same. Picking up another centre colour, going into the next middle bead in that group of three. Okay. Picking up another, go into that next middle bead in the next group of three. This is where it gets a little awkward because you've got this in your way now. <laughs> But just carry on doing the same thing so you're going to go into the next middle bead in the next group of three like that make sure it flips to the inside and the last one is probably the most awkward but picking up your last one so i'm coming out of the middle bead in this group of three i need to go into this middle bead in the last group of three so this one's a little harder to get through, you just have to sort of adjust till you get through that bead like that and then pull it through and make sure your thread's on the top and not stuck underneath. So as you pull it through the bead's going to sit on the top, pull it tight, now you've got this, now you can move through this first centre colour that we added. Like that. Now we're going to add one, two, three, four, five, six of our size 15 beads, just like we did before. So pick up a size 15 and go into the next centre colour. Same again, pick up a size 15 and go into that next centre colour. And you're going to do that all the way around. And then I'll show you what to do next. So just like last time when you get to the last one just do the same thing again so go through that last centre colour like that then you're going to move into that first size 15 bead that you added Now you're just going to sew through all those size 15 beads that we just added, ignore the size 11s, go through all of those again until you're coming back out of this one that you started from. So I've gone through all of those again, I've pulled it tight, so this is what I've got now. And so I'm coming out of the size 15, I'm going to move through 
this purple bead and the two green ones above it and into the silver corner bead. Okay, so now you're in a position to do that same thing again. So that's the basic technique of this uh, bracelet. And you just need to keep going until you get the length that you want. So it's a, a little bit time consuming, but I think it's worth it because they look really nice in the end. It's kind of a dainty, daintier bracelet on your wrist. So it's really nice. And like you can experiment with colors and lots of different things. So I quite like this one where each um, flower or each star is a different color as well. Um, but yeah, so you just need to keep going. And because I am running out of time to film, um, I'm quickly going to show you just here how to add the clasp. And it's going to be the same at both ends. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So you need to, once you've got to the end, you'll get your two ends of your clasp. So you'll be coming out of one of these beads. And it's just as simple as picking up whatever your next colour would be. So picking up two size 11s and your clasp or half of your clasp. And it will be exactly the same for this half of your clasp and for like the jump ring side of your clasp. So just do exactly the same. And picking up two more. So you've got two size 11 C beads, your clasp and two more size 11 C beads. Slide those down. And then you're going to go back through that bead that you're coming out of on the opposite side like that and now all you're going to do is just circle through them a few times to make sure it's really secure this isn't the clasp i'm going to be using by the way it's just to show you quickly because i've got it right here next to me that's how i would attach the clasp for this and yeah, just go through it several times. The same with the other end with your jump ring. Go through that several times as well so it doesn't slide off. And then you can go ahead and tie some knots and then your bracelet will be finished. Okay, so that's the technique and that's how you need to go ahead and finish your bracelet. So I hope you enjoyed this and sorry that it was a bit rushed in the end because I've run out of time for filming, but um, yeah, and I'm not able to show you my finished bracelet, but if you follow me on Instagram when I finish it, I'm sure I'll post a picture over there. And so, yeah, that's the technique. So if you need to keep watching it, like going back, rewinding and watching it every time you do a new section, then that's really fine. There's nothing wrong with doing that if you need to keep watching it over and over. Um, and then once you get the hang of it, it's really fun stitch to do and lots of different variations that you can create with colours and patterns. So I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful and comment down below if you did and what else you'd like to see and like this video and subscribe to see more of my videos. Follow me on Instagram at Hannah. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Bye!